Hi and welcome back, uh, T again. So, in the part before we created this chair, uh, slash sofa, something like on which uh, can more than one people sit. And now we're going to create the last chair here. Now the last chair is the most modern in design. As you can see we started with this, which is a very simple shape. Uh, through all of the chairs and uh, got here. And uh, now we're going to create this chair. Now this chair is made let's say from two basic parts. The one part is the metal skeleton and the second is the seat and the handles. Now for the uh, skeleton we will use like before in, the, in this chair splines and after convert to poly and for this I think just uh, some primitive I will uh, use technique like here to make the cushions look more natural. So. We can start, uh, like before, we will create a new layer. Now let's create, we will call it chair 5, because it's the fifth chair. We will hide everything, just keep the default, because in the default is the plane with our reference. And also I will make this a little bit bigger. I think it was too small. Now, because uh, we don't have the chair from the side, like uh, just from an angle, uh, we can't like uh, make the splines here and after uh, use like rotate or something like this. Because if it will be just in an angle, like in one axis, it will be fine. But it's in two axes here, and I have no idea if we'll be able to tweak everything so that we could use it. Maybe yes. Actually, maybe yes, but we'll make it from a draft. So. I will make here a box. Now the box will indica indicate me how big my spline should be. Hit Alt X and I will convert this to poly just to have more control about the shape. So let's say it should be big like this. And wide like this. So I'll just put it here. I'll put it here a little bit up. I'll freeze the model. Let's go to properties. Here, here we are. Now check freeze. It can be in grey. Uh, we don't care. And we'll start with this shape. Now this is the first shape on which is connected this shape and the rest of the skeleton. So. It's actually very easy because nothing is connected uh, by going from the same shape, it's just weld here in these places. So if we're reproducing this model, it's actually very nice and very easy to do. Now uh, we just have to do these shapes right, that it will not look like strange or something. Okay, let's go to a line. I'll zoom a little bit out. Now, as I, uh, as I told you before, I really like to model uh, with a reference picture, on a reference picture. It's really much easier than like, try to reproduce something. Maybe for someone it's the same, but for me it's horrible sometimes. Okay, uh, so let's start with the bottom, on which the chair is sitting. Then it's here, this curve. And Let's go straight up and shaping to a half arc or something. Now this is my first like, let's say first try and I see that uh, this part is like completely different here. So we'll go here, just here and decide that it's too big, my box here, so I need to go down with everything here. I'll try to scale it. Oops. I'll scale it down like this. And now uh, more points are going almost straight here. There's just a little bit curling. And just later, it goes straight down. So 
So let's say oh, this should be enough. Oh, I think yes. Now uh, we'll see anyway later. So I will now select all the points and convert to smooth. And I will just tweak a few points. As you can see, my rendering is already on. These options I already set. Like it should be two centimeters long. I mean, oh, you can see uh, like this and uh, half centimeter thick. Uh, okay, back to front. Now uh, I just need now to move the vertex a little bit to make uh, the shape really smooth. And let's go here. Okay, here's the angle. Okay, I will move this a little bit up more. I think it was uh, going down to straight or too much better. So uh, now I'm just tweaking uh, the shape, moving, just moving, nothing hard, oh, nothing difficult. <coughs> okay. Now oh, this here is I think a little bit arc here too. So I don't need again. I need again move something that and that way. We'll also move this stuff a little bit back. And this will be my first point. We'll go with this a little bit down. And all other points should now fit my shape. Straight. And I don't know, probably something like this. Well, that was too high and and something like this. Should be fine, I hope. So okay, uh, this is my first part. Now I will move this down. And I need to do this part here. Now this part here looks like it's uh, in the same distance like this here. So my part here and goes, let's say, to the half somewhere here. It connects. So again, uh, I will select my line tool, create line. And draw something. Let's look more on the reference picture here. Okay. Oops, this one. Now uh, I will put here one more point. I will refine and do the bending at the start. Oh, here should be a bending. Let's go like this and go straight to the shape. Okay, uh, so this is something like a draft. So again, we'll select all these vertex here. Right click and smooth. Now let's press a four. Let's zoom a little bit out because uh, the vertex are too small to show. And we will tweak our shape like uh, before. So the same, let's say technique, but actually we're just moving something. We don't model. Or making any other oops, any other cha uh, changes to the shape. Ok, 
Okay, I will move this all the way back. And just a few more moves, and I, oops, again. And I think it should be fine. Okay. So I offer is all. Delete this. Put here the same material. And and an end. I think I will do scale two. And scale it a little bit. I think I will also move this a little bit here. Just move these points a little bit up. There should be more. Uh, where is it too? Straight it here. I don't have to connect, absolutely. Don't, but it should, of course. And okay, uh, anyway, we'll see later. So we'll convert this to poly and this too. Convert to poly. Go to perspective and we have our uh, initial shape here. <coughs> now, now, I don't know. Uh, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry again. So uh, I don't know how it should be like far from each other. 55 centimeters, maybe too much. 50. Well, yeah, 50 should be. Oops, my bad. So I will draw here just a box or something other. And holding down shift, I will move it almost here. But it's too far. This is much better. We can scale anything later. Okay, now let's go to front again. Now this is a poly shape. I will select this edge here, loop it, and deselect so far these edges here. <coughs> now if you if you look on this one here, it's uh, copying like this shape, and after it go up. So I will uh, hold down Shift. My bad. Top view that I can hold on to it here. So select an uh, edge from the top, put a ring, mm. let's go to front. Yeah, it's also from this. Um, okay, anyway, uh, I will do it manually. Should be fine. So <coughs> check this and select these bodies like this. Check this back. Let's go to front and deselect view. This should be fine. And in perspective, we'll just look if yeah everything is selected like it should be. Now back to front. Hold down shift. Pull it pull it up just a little bit. <coughs> now again for me. Uh, okay, clone to object, and now we have a new shape here. Now, this is like uh, the first step uh, to our shape on which the people are sitting on our picture here. And from the top view, we'll select everything here, rotate a little bit, or just keep it in the top view, and move the vertex opposite. Okay. Now uh, I need to select all these edges here. Oh, before uh, 
I will select every body here and flip. And now select these, these, this and this edge. Loop it. Let's go to front view. And we'll try to change this. Yep. Hold down shift with the edge oops. With the edges. And just move them up. Like this. Let's go pick here. Let's go to perspective check everything. Here it is. Now cap it by selecting the border. Cap. And we need to go to edge, deselect these edges. We need to bridge it. Here that I don't know if the bridge function will be working. Well, don't look so. Let's try this one. But, uh, I connect, connect. Hmm, okay. It's not working. Uh, really, I don't know why. Nothing's working. Anyway, uh, we need to do the cuts here. Ah, mm. uh, uh, okay. No, no, I don't know. Or better, uh, let's try it. So just two edges here and here. No, it's not working. Now, if I select just these two edges, it should make the bridge, but it's not. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, my bad. I kept that. I'm thinking why it's not bridging. Sorry for that. But multiply uh, edges I can bridge. I don't know why actually. It should be working. Now this this was working. Okay, I'll try to select all here, uh, loop them, deselect this, 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 and I think I was making the first four here. Oh wait, there is a bridge already. No, it's not. It's hard to see where is ah yeah this is right okay okay I think it's yeah it's done okay so we have here a bridge from our shape so <coughs> this is the first shape and now we need to reproduce again uh, the rest of the shape let's go to front view and here it should uh, rotate up and I don't know make a shape like this. So I will make here a box. Probably it should go like this. We'll see how it's going with this shape here. And where we are, where should we are? And I will try it from this view and make again shape and then extrude the poly along the shape. Now again, like before, to have a side reference of this would be great. So this is my first try. It don't look so nice, like on the picture. I will just turn off the rendering here and select this, move it a little bit back, and first 
try to tweak the overall shape, the rough shape, which I did here. Okay, I will select again uh, all the vertex convert to smooth. Ah, let's look here first. So I will, I think, convert to Bezio corner. And now we will start to tweak our shape. Now I think it should go like more to the back. I mean, with that, uh, I don't know, I'll move a little bit this one here. Oh, this one. This one. I'll move the sh wall shape a little bit back. Oops. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Now the shape is already nice and smooth. Just thinking uh, what to change there. Oh, so far, so good. Hmm. But it's hard to say if we have just a profile. It's much better to see uh, it when we will extrude that. So we can do the extrude now. Just select this poly here. And like before, extrude our spline. First of all, we'll pick our spline. Wow, well, let's go with 20. 20 sides. And let's look. Okay, now. Okay, now we can see it's too big. For sure. Oh, this is too small. It's hard to say. But because uh, we're uh, trying to do it in. Uh, one scale that later we can scale it very easily. I need to pull, pull this pull this down. Now, well, first of all, I will try just to scale it like this. Yeah, already it looks uh, much better. So again, uh, we'll <coughs> select our spline. Pull it a little bit up, uh, down. So like these, the poly should be selected. Extrude on spine, and again, I don't know, 80, 18. I mean, size should be enough. And now let's go to perspective, and let's look now. Yeah, now it's much better. Yeah, it's much better. Okay. Um, one more thing. Uh, we'll delete. Uh, we'll try to solve this spline here. Maybe it is. Yep. And also from the top view, I will select one side and make it a little bit smaller. And I will move also these bottom parts here. Let's go to perspective. Uh, oh, this was oh no, I think it's fine now. Better like before. Anyway, we're trying to match the reference picture. This is enough height. And okay, I think it's fine now. The shape is fine. It's more or less matched. Uh, to the reference picture. <coughs> and when we will probably finish the skeleton, we will scale it a little bit more. So, uh, what's next? So, we have this and this. Now, it would be nice to make the handles, maybe. Well, the handles are again from a separate part. Now, let me go to the front, front view. Let's go one shape here, just an arc. 
so for this uh, we can make an arc so I don't know so like this first shape and the second is say you go here down and here so <coughs> we select our line tool again and we'll make this shape uh, later we'll uh, change that so again we'll make a rough shape of uh, what we want and tweak it Tweak it by moving and adjusting the vertex here. Yeah, we move everything more close here. Also pull this a little bit down. And the rest I think should be fine. So again I will select all these here, make them smooth, and let's look. I render it here to see. Yeah, it's nice. The same, I will put the start here and actually okay. Select bolt. Ah, make this here. Let's go again ah, to perspective by hitting P. Hmm, maybe this is too. It should be the same size everywhere. We'll pull it a little bit inside. Too much. Back, like here. From the top view, uh, let's press C and then Z. I will select both shapes. Hold on, shift. Put it. Uh, on the other side and let's look. Okay. Uh, our chair is slowly forming the shape like it's in the picture. Now the next few steps should be tweaking a little bit, maybe scaling and of course uh, finishing the shape with chamfers and so on. Okay, I will keep it like this I think. One more thing here is this one. So I will select this shape here, attach the opposite here, and choose a few edges which I will bridge. I mean, a few polys. Let's go with these three, they are anywhere small. Select them, bridge them, finish. Now, uh, Let's look on this here. We'll delete uh, the strange um, made police because, uh, like before, when I was uh, chamfering, I had to select and deselect many times because the ends uh, here wasn't like squares with one body, but two bodies like this. Oh, what? Doesn't matter. Okay. The same I saw here somewhere. Yeah, it's here. Strange that. Uh, oops. Strange that I can't select this. Oh, how is this possible? Hmm. Convert this to poly two. Oh, this was strange, but doesn't matter. Okay, delete this one here and cap it. Let's go all the way up. This is fine. Okay, again the same problem. So it is the poly. Cap this, <coughs> and at the other uh, other side, I will just select them, 
delete and from the top view I will select these ones hold on shift and move it in the same position ok I think I know why I couldn't select that it's probably that it was still a line and it was just rendering the shape it wasn't the shape at all ok uh, so let's start to make the chamfers select this edge, edges here, loop that let's press chamfer, right click, make it zero the value and chamfer like this should be fine so this one oops, now again ok, so again select this one and this one hold on, control Edge, chamfer. Okay. Now let's go to the big shape here. Actually, the same. So like this loop. I hope also the button is selected. Oops. But I don't see it yet. Ah, damn. Uh, I have here something bad. It was caused uh, when I was first uh, dragging, holding down shift and dragging the edges here. It looks like I did one uh, drag more. So I will hit Ctrl A, press the weld, and just weld them. The value should be enough to weld just that part and nothing else. Yeah. And it's it's fixed. So again I will select this one and this one. Loop it. Press the chamfer button. Probably here should be a small chamfer. Oh this is fine. And again select this poly and the poly on, uh, on the top hold down edge chamfer press ok now now let's select this edge here loop it press the chamfer button and Make one more chamfer. Yeah, better. Oh, okay, again, uh, I will delete this and later copy it there. And I will repeat the process on every shape which I have. So select this and this, loop it, chamfer. Oh, why do you like this? This one, this one, control H, chamfer, and press OK. Same on the bottom here. Oh, this is a little bit like uh, boring, just selecting the edges and after chamfering, but we have to do that. Oh, we have, we don't have actually, we could use. Other techniques just by connecting uh, the parts of the shape to define a little bit more the shape, but I like this more when it's still like this. So, the last shape here. Now, well, let's go to front and Z to zoom. So, like this by H. A little bit. Now let's go to perspective and we want to select also this one here, this one here, loop that. Ah, to step back. Okay, same on the other side and now again like before, 
like on the chair before, uh, we need just to look on something. Okay, again we have here triangles, so uh, we need to try for something more. I remember it was uh, if it was this. Eight, one, two, two, three. Yeah, it can be this. So, ah, oops. Ah, is that to zoom? Uh, so again, so again, like, like I, like I did. So this, this loop, and this, and this at the bottom. Chamfer, quads everywhere. And yeah, here, here we can go with a high value. Chamfer, not so much like this. And the last thing, this part, this part, and the bottom part. This, this, the same value of chamfer, control edge, chamfer, press OK, and Delete this. Select this, this, and this. Hold on, shift. Move it here. Oops. Press OK. And now we need to fit it into the right position. OK. Great. Oops. My bad. So first of all, this one. Let's say uh, my mistake. So it should be covering the shape, and this should go something like this. Oops, perspective. Okay, uh, let's try to go smooth on that. Okay, nice and smooth. Let's try it here. Okay, and the same here. Okay, great. So everything is nice and smooth. I think without anything which uh, will be looking bad. So we have uh, we have uh, our skeleton for. Our chair. Now, the advantage of this is uh, that we can attach everything together. Now, it will save us uh, a lot of things and we can scale it later and stuff like that. So, I will attach all the objects. But, you can still select them by just pressing the element button. And now let's go to front view. We'll select our scale and scale this. Now let's go to perspective. If we want to scale it on any other axis, I don't think so. I will leave it here. Well, maybe not. Okay, let's say. No, it's fine. <coughs> okay, uh, we have our base mesh, the skeleton, which uh, we will later. Uh, oh, it's actually it's done. We just need to put here the black parts. It's not such a problem, of course. And now uh, we need to do this one here. Uh, this one here is actually not so hard, easy, or any other, uh, because. Uh, it's copying the shape on which is laying on which it is laying. Now it should be fine to do. It's made from more than one. I think shape. Hmm. So if you try to do it, you can try to do it actually from just one shape. And just by 
copying this. Whew, a lot of. Ah, I forgot. I already um, made the attachment here. Okay, now uh, front and side. Hold on shift and pull it a little bit away. Call to object. Now if you're an object, which is a copy of the shape uh, on which the people are sitting here. And now let's look. And it uh, looks like uh, this is one part, second, third, I don't know actually. Well, apparently it's one part just divided to look for more parts. Um, it's hard to say. I really have no idea. But let's make it from one part uh, that it will looking like it's made from more parts. So still select this. Uh, we'll flip it. We'll go to the edge. Select all edges. And again we'll just shift and drag them out. This looks a little bit strange. Yeah, I know why. I know why. I'll delete this. Probably. So again. Okay, everything is selected. I will edge here. Our front that uh, we can again try from local. And hold on shift and Move it once up. Now we'll adjust the rest. So I don't know, a little thick like this. Or a little bit more. It's hard to see. Hmm. I'll show you to go to normal. So now we'll just adjust like how it should be big. Hmm. I don't know, it's actually looking like it's changing the thickness. Okay, let's say let's say this. Move it here. Perspective, and we will see how we're looking. Actually, so far I don't like it much, but we will see. So again, let's go to edge, deselect, deselect this edge. Let's go to bridge, make this nice, nice to big bridge, and probably we need to move some edges. <coughs> To, t uh, to change the way how it's looking. Oops. So I'm holding down control and just selecting them. Now I'll, I'll move them a little bit. A little bit also up. Now we'll select all these edges here. Hold on, Alt, deselect a lot of them, move this a little bit down, pull this up, let's go to vertex mode, and adjust a few manually, form a little bit the shape of the seat. Now this probably could go down. So this is again just moving all the vertex. Well, we have here a bump, which looks actually a little bit funny. We don't want to hear the bump. 
Yo, pull the bump down. You can do it more than this. Horrible. Oh, it's not looking so bad. Wow, he was, I think, too too much take. Somewhere it's two takes now, so or not. Let's try to make it. To, uh, let's try to make it look a little bit more how it should. Or it's fine that it's some uh, on some places it's uh, different different thickness. It's really looking more realistic than if they will be everywhere the same. Anyway, at the end, if we apply to the smooth, it will anyway make it smaller. Okay, here is some bumping, which is fine. Now let's go to perspective to our ugly shape. Uh, now it's divided in uh, more shapes here. Oops. No, I don't know why I was trying to rotate this image. Now in perspective. Mm. Okay, here is going one. Somewhere here. Then here. Here, here. So, one, two, three. Put it down. Okay. So, let's say this will be the big one, and here will be the small ones. So, put the shape. Try to the shape. Uh, let's press. Okay, maybe not chat, but let's try extreme. Right click. And we will go straight down. Oh, try it. It's a little bit too much. Now it's going to kill all views like crazy. So we will try the chamfer. So let's press chamfer. Desage here, ring it, and we will go by block normal. No, it's the same actually. Hmm. It's not working how it should. Let's change it to screen. I don't like this, and I don't know why it's behaving like that. Okay, let's try to center this pivot. This is strange a little bit for me. Doesn't matter. I make it different. Ah, oh. ah, oh, this is bad. Okay, I think. Uh, no, mm, well, I'm thinking no. Well, I don't. Know. I think I will finish it in uh, in, a, in the next part. I will think about how to make this the best way, so I will not like make it so long the part here. Okay, so so far thank you for watching. Now we are in the half of this monster here. And I hope in the next part we will make this very quickly and finish that. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.